Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and today I want to speak to you about a two-minute prayer to manifest anything that you want. Yes, a two-minute prayer to manifest anything that you want. The reason I'm doing this video is because I get a lot of people out there that write me that's trying to change their life for the better and are having difficulties using the law of attraction, metaphysics, and they need some assistance. So I decided to do this video and other videos to help you along your way to create the life that you desire. If you're unfamiliar with my world of metaphysics, this is the law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives you easy to understand information that you can utilize right away to help change your life. So listen, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell if you want more information from this channel. So now let's get started. To manifest anything the first thing I would like to say if you watch my videos before is we have been taught a wrong way of prayer okay a lot of you out there watching this video right now may not agree maybe already typing saying something bad about me but that's okay what I want to say to you either you can continue watching or you can click off and the people that are interested in hearing what I want to say they can continue listening. The God that I seek, the God that I pray to, is not on the outside of me. It is not, will not, and will never be on the outside of me. When Moses asked, whom should I say have sent me? The answer was, I am has sent you. Okay? Now, I am could only be I. Out of all the words in the vocabulary, I, she, he, they, me, I and me are the only two words that represent yourself. You cannot say I am and be talking about something outside of you. I am can only be you. Me can only be me. There is absolutely no way you can say I am and be talking about someone outside of you. The I am that Moses was talking about, the I am that I am talking about is the God that resides inside of me, which is me. I and God are one. Jesus said it the best. I and God are one. If you know me, then you know my father. When will everybody understand that the God you pray to is the God that dwells inside of you? The God that you seek is you, is the God that dwells inside of you. Listen, I and God are one. I am a manifestation of God. And because I am a manifestation of God, that God dwells inside of me, I create the life that I desire. And there is nothing else outside of me that I need to seek. Once you realize where your supply comes from, where your abundance, your health, and everything else come from, you will be setting yourself free to live the life that you desire. Your confidence will increase because you are actually living from the truth. Now, what is it that I have to say about a two minute prayer to manifest anything? Now, once you realize that the God that you seek dwells inside of you and that you are the creator of your life, you then learn to pray a different way. You no longer sit there and beg and plead to God 
for things that you are trying to manifest. You step forward boldly knowing that you are a child of God and it is your divine right to have the things that you desire. But there are steps to take. You must step forward boldly knowing that it is your divine right to already have what you want. And once you think it, or it is a thought in your mind, it is already so. There's just different avenues that you can go down. And that is totally based on your belief, your faith, and your action. Let's say that again. Once you come up with the idea of whatever it is you desire in your life, there's multiple avenues that you can go down. And each avenue have a different outcome. Are you getting it right away? Are you getting it in the next couple of months, the next couple of years? Are you going to get it with difficulty? Are you going to get it with ease? Or are you never going to get it at all? Once you have the thought in your mind of whatever it is that you desire, it is already so in the spiritual realm. What avenue are you going to go down to get to it? It's up to you. Many people set out with an intention to create something in their life. They are either lacking belief, faith, and they give up. Sometimes people give up right before it manifests into their lives. The two minute prayer that I am talking about is stepping to God that dwells inside of you with faith and belief that it is already yours. Stepping to God with confidence that you know that it's already yours. And it's just a matter of time before it manifests on the physical realm. What God has for others, God also has for me and even more. I step boldly forward, knowing that whatever I want to create in this lifetime is already mine. I am a child of God. God dwells inside of me. I am a manifestation of God and I have a divine right to create the life that I desire. God, I step forward boldly knowing that I as a child of God, that I have you on my side and that with you dwelling inside of me, there is no force that could be against me. I declare right now because the God inside of me is me that I have the money that I desire, that I have the house that is just perfect for me, given to me in divine ways, in grace and peace and love. When you pray to God, you step forward boldly, knowing that whatever it is that you desire is already yours. You have faith and courage and determination to see it through in divine ways, okay? Whatever it is that you desire, you step forward boldly knowing that it is already yours. A two-minute prayer to manifest anything would be knowing that you are a child of God, that the God that dwells inside of you is you. You are a manifestation of God and that God has already granted you with the ability to create the life that you desire. For we are who we are. And as a manifestation of God, it is our divine right to live in peace, happiness, and joy. A two-minute prayer to manifest whatever it is you want would be like, thank you, God, for blessing me with everything that I have in my life. The God I seek is the God that dwells inside of me. 
and I seek no other God outside of me. I know that I am a manifestation of the God that dwells inside of me. I know that I create the life that I desire and whatever I get or don't get is because of me. Because I know I create the life that I desire, I know I can have anything that I want. As, lo as long as I believe, have faith, determination, and take action. As I sit here, knowing that the God that dwells inside of me is me, I see myself having the perfect job at a perfect wage in a perfect way. I see myself having a perfect home at a perfect price in a perfect location with perfect neighbors. I see myself with my bank account overflowing, allowing me to spend, save, and give in perfect ways. Whatever God has for others, God also has for me and even more. As I sit here knowing that the white light of God that dwells inside of me is me, I step forward boldly in this human experience, knowing that whatever it is that I desire, I can create. God, I thank you and I thank you and I thank you for giving me this opportunity to live to enjoy, to love. As I sit here knowing that the white light of God dwells inside of me, I am happy because I know the truth. I am happy because I am abundantly supplied for by the God that dwells inside of me. When you pray knowing that it is your divine right to have whatever it is you desire, your life will change. Things in your life will change. Things will start happening in your life that you just never anticipated. Once you know the truth and you set that intention out there of what it is that you desire and you step to God boldly your whole world would change. Every night before you go to bed, before you close your eyes, or once you close your eyes, and upon wakening, you declare whatever it is you desire. World peace, happiness, love, health. And watch it manifest in your life. By praying to God, knowing that it is already yours. After you pray to God, boldly, let it go. Let it go. For every time you pray and you look over your shoulder for where it is, or you look over your shoulder not seeing what it is that you desire, you are pushing yourself further and further and further away from what it is that you're trying to manifest. Why? Because you're worrying. Because you have no faith. Because you do not believe. So these are the things that actually repel you from the direction that you're trying to go in. Let it go. Let it go. And then the next day, when you do your prayer, you do your prayer and again, you let it go. You go about your business. And when you get that intuition, that, in, that inner feeling to take action, take action and enjoy. And before you know it, whatever it is you were trying to manifest will be yours. Two minute prayer to manifest anything. That's all it takes. Listen, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you Law of Attraction metaphysical information. Today we just spoke about a two-minute prayer to manifest anything. If you like this video, like it. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell to get messages from me. And listen, 
Follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com. Buy crystals and metaphysical items at store.myworldofmetaphysics.com. Again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. Namaste.